Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Muhammad Amirul Islam. In my previous video, I explained various uh, important aspects of adsorption and surface chemistry. These videos have been very popular. Therefore, in this video, I would like to show you how to calculate desorption or regeneration capacity easily. So this video is very important, so please do not skip. Well, let us uh, consider procedure. At first, adsorption experiment is carried out, taking one gram of adsorbent into 100 milliliter of adsorbent, for example, chromium, where chromium concentration is 60 milligram per liter, then after adsorption experiment, the spent adsorbent is separated by filtration and washed several times to eliminate the residual chromium. To identify the suitable alloyant, 0.1 molar HCl, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, 0.2 molar calcium chloride, 0.5 molar potassium hydroxide, 5% formic acid and uh, 0.1 molar EDTA are explored to remove chromium from the adsorbent. Then the chromium loaded adsorbent and desorption solution is shaken overnight and filtrates are analyzed to determine concentration of chromium after desorption. After identifying suitable alloyant agent, several adsorption desorption experiments uh, was conducted to justify the reusability of the spent adsorbent for chromium adsorption process. Therefore, percent desorption equal to amount of metal ion desorbed divided by amount of metal ion adsorbed into 100. That's for today. Thanks for watching. Please do visit Aminul Camp Innovation for new videos.